Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial today. So we're going to be making this beautiful shift dress that has um, two combinations of colors. I used a denim fabric and then a plain white fabric just because the denim fabric wasn't enough. So this is what it looks like. It has a kind of gathered effect at the lower part of it and at the sleeve and also something else that is kind of a topper layer at one side of it. So if that's what you want to see, you then you keep watching this video to the end and subscribe to this channel you can use a belt or you can decide to wear it as free as it is if that's what you want to see then keep watching this video to the very end let's head straight to the pattern drafting tutorial okay so i used this denim fabric um it's actually very light i would advise you to use a cotton material okay so you'll be needing your basic bodies all the way to your hemline from your shoulder all the way to your hemline now go ahead to explain i used 2.5 inches for the shoulder and three inches for the depth of the neckline because it's going to be having a collar okay and my bust point line waistline hip line and the hemline i'm going to add inch for the button at the front area the center front and i've added that one inch i'm labeling button right now so having done that i'll go ahead to extend my bust apart measurement all the way to the hemline okay my bust apart measurement all the way to the hemline i'm going to have to extend it all the way to the hemline and i'll be using the ruler to join that together like so so having done that, I'll go ahead to use my scissors to open up my sideboard that. Then from my hemline, I'll go ahead to cut open from that very bust apart measurement. Remember, I'm cutting at the bust apart measurement and not my dart. I'm eliminating my dart. And that is what we're going to be doing. So I'll close this. I'll go ahead to close my side bust that opening it at the hemline like so if you want a very wide flare you can but if you don't want you can kind of open it up a little and stitch up the dart you know something like that but for this video we are close everything okay so i'll go ahead to use my tape and hold this down like so if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do want to subscribe hit the bell notification icon so that way you know when i post a new video okay so i added a fresh pattern paper to eat like so and i'll go ahead to also add to tape it down okay then i'm kind of chewing the length of it so i'll add more fresh pattern paper just in case if I want to cut open. So for that gathered effect, I'm using 6 inches from my hemline, okay? I'm using 6 inches from my hemline. You can use whatever works for you, whatever you feel is going to be nice on you. I'm using 6 inches from my hemline. So I'm taping this down, and I'm going to be cutting that part, which we are going to be kind of gathering okay we'll slash and spread for added fullness and we'll gather but then i'll be needing to get that other layer defect first so i have to close this back i need to get that other layer defect because it's kind of on top at one side it is on top of this lower gathered effect okay so i need to get it first before removing the lower gathered effect at the hemline so that's what i'm going to be doing now i went ahead to close the whole opening up then i'm trying to trace out where i will be using for that gathered effect okay i'm starting from my half length just so it has a nice fit okay i'm starting from my half length and about two inches from that very particular place that i want to cut open for my hemline so that when it falls over it's on top of it i don't know if you get me so when it falls over, it's on top of it. So I'm going to trace out this whole piece. And having traced it out, this is what it looks like. Remember, we are slashing and spreading this very particular part. We are cutting too because we want to get added fullness at the top. We are gathering the top. And also, we want to get an, um, a fullness at the lower part of it. So I'm going ahead now to cut open that very particular part. 
So this is what we're having. As you can see, that was the reason why I had to tape it back the other time. <coughs> so I'll go ahead to slash and spread. I'll just show you what I mean. Go ahead to slash and spread the particular one. I'll go ahead to show you what I mean. I'm going ahead to draw my slash lines, kind of guidelines for my slashing. And this is what I'm doing right away. So I'm cutting open like so. I'm going to be cutting everything out. If you don't want to mix them up, you can label one, two, three, four, five, six, as much as you have, so that you don't take number two to number one and number one to number two. This is actually the way I do it to get a perfect, you know, gather for the very part that I want to use. So I'm gonna have to also slash and spread the lower part of the gather. This is what it looks like. So you want to kind of gather it like so on the main bodies i'm just trying to show you what it's going to be like and then for the other part of it also you want to kind of put it at your waistline waistline sorry and then you kind of gather it so it falls on top of the hemline i hope that's explainable and understandable so i haven't done that we'll set this aside and we'll head to the back which is also very simple and easy same thing we did to the front. I'll go ahead to measure my bust apart measurement all the way down. I'll go ahead to take my bust apart measurement all the way down. And I'll be using my ruler to join this like so. So I haven't done that now. For my bust apart measurement, we'll be cutting this open. Remember, we are not closing up the dots. The dots are there. We are not eliminating. The, this is a shift dress, okay? You want it free, so we are not eliminating the dots. And I'm going to have to cut on my first line at the back, like so. Okay? This is what we are doing at the back. I have videos where I've done stuff like this, just in case if you're confused, you don't know what it looks like. So this is what you're going to be having. And I'm going to have to put this beneath, like so, to fill it up. And I'll go ahead to tape it down. You want to measure the wideness of the front. And also make sure it's the same thing you're doing to the back. So you want to make sure the space you're leaving at the front, like the hemline, the space of the hemline, where you're spreading, the space of your spread at the hemline in front is same with the space you're giving for the spread at the back, okay? So there will be uniformity in your design. But I'm going ahead to do it like so now. So I'm adding more pattern paper for the hemline of that lower part of it that we are gathering so that when I cut it open, I don't have a lot of pieces to deal with. So also same thing, I'm measuring 6 inches just like I did. I'm also measuring 6 inches. As you can see, the back kind of tilted, but I'm going to be through it with my scissors. So for the back, we're going to be slashing and spreading this very particular part for the back, okay? So this is what it looks like now. We're going to be slashing and spreading this back. And that's pretty it for the pattern drafting. We'll head straight to the sewing right away. Okay, before that, the sleeve, yeah. Before that, the sleeve. It's just a basic sleeve. A basic sleeve that stops at the upper and arm. Then you want to cut a long strap of fabric depending on the length you want then you gather it to the sleeve that's basically it okay so let's head straight to the sewing which is also very very important so firstly i'm gonna have to mark my waistline okay i'm gonna have to mark my waistline as you can see i've sewed up my the button area of the shirt i have quite a number of videos where i did that so i'm gonna have to sew up the button area of the shirt and i'm going ahead to gather this very particular one so I'm wearing a loose stitch on it so I could gather that very particular part. So I went ahead to start gathering it, okay. You want to gather it, so you want to gather it and distribute it uniformly. So I haven't done that on that very chalk that I marked. I'm going to start sewing right side facing right side because it's going to be falling over and you don't want where you stitch to show. I'm starting from the bottom area, this very particular um gathered layer is going to be covering up the button that starts from that waistline so you're not going to be seeing it and you see the way i'm stitching it up as we go on in this tutorial 
So I'm distributing this thing uniformly, the gathers uniformly to make sure that it's okay and it's nice. So one side is not kind of bigger than the other. So I'm distributing it uniformly to make sure that it's nice. And when I've done that, I'll go ahead to start stitching all the way to the very part where I'm supposed to stop. Remember where you marked your chalk that you want to stitch it on your waistline for a nice fit, okay? So I'm stitching all the way to the bottom area. And this is what it looks like. It's going to be falling over. Okay. So having done that, I'm going to have to bring the other side of the front. And then we are laying it on top as it's supposed to be. So I'll go ahead now to stitch up this very particular area area where this gathered effect has covered the button and you want to see what i'm doing so i'll go ahead to start stitching it all the way down more like an artificial button that's what this place is going to be having you're not opening it all the way down like you do for a shirt because this very part is going to be covering it and it's a free gown so you can actually wear it the ones left on top the very space left on top from the waistline to your neck will be enough for you to wear it comfortably so i'm stitching up this button area so i'm stitching it up on both sides okay Then when I get to this very part where we gathered, I'm going to be running a stitch on top of it. Like a plaquette, okay? Like a plaquette kind of. I'm going to be running a stitch on top of it. And that will be it to form a piece for the front, okay? So that will be it to form a piece for the front. Then I'm going to have to stitch my back and my front together, like the sides following the allowance that I left I'm gonna to have to stitch them up together that layered effect at the front also went into the side seam so I'm stitching it together with the back okay as you can see I have three pieces of it three layers so I'm going to be stitching it like so The other part that is left, I'm going to be running, folding it up for the hem to give it a, a nice finish. Same thing, I'll also go ahead to be stitching the other side up. So I'm going to have to stitch this up like so. This is what it looks like. Also for the shoulder, I'm going to have to stitch up the shoulders. Then for the lower part of it, I'm going to have to gather my hem. Like I did in the beginning, I ran a loose stitch and I gathered it and I distributed it evenly to the main bodies. And I'm going to have to sew it up now. You want to be careful so that you do not gather your main bodies. You're only gathering this lower part of it. You're not gathering your main body. So you want to be careful while sewing so that you don't gather your lower bodies. Okay. And that is why you have to gather that very particular hem first before you start sewing. 
And while you're sewing, you want to distribute it evenly. I will advise if you have a pin, use a pin to hold this down well distributed before you even start sewing. So I'm going to have to distribute it evenly and also go ahead to start sewing. That's, like I said, I don't have much fabric, so I'm going to have to make sure that the gather is distributed evenly and that everything comes out nice. And I'm sewing all the way around. I'm sewing all the way around. You have to be very careful and take it easy while sewing this very area because if you rush it, you're probably going to loosen it and come back again. So you don't want to loosen it and come back. So why not you take your time at the very first attempt and get it right? So that's what we'll be sewing all the way around. And this is what we'll have for the final look. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.